¿Qué tal amigos de Cine Gamers? Y bienvenidos a un nuevo video de Persona 5 Royal con su buen amigo Peter Que ya estamos en el video final de la Wall Truck Miren amigos, el final es largo con ganas porque pasan demasiadas cosas como para cerrar varias tramas y demás Entonces eh, estoy seguro que va a durar más de una hora y si es así quizás lo parto a la mitad Dependiendo de cuánto sea, o sea es una hora 5 no, no veo, o sea lo, lo puedo subir Pero si ya subí una hora 20 o demás quizás sí lo parto si lo parto y de repente ni me doy cuenta porque igual y si lo grabo todo de golpe igual y si ven un golpe así como de ah mira aquí lo cortó eh, les pido una disculpa porque es demasiado. Aquí les quiero poner como ya está completa el... los confidentes y lo hice en mi primera vuelta, en mi primera partida entonces sí se puede lograr hacer pero esta era la séptima vez que yo acababa el juego entonces ya me la sabía muy bien. Y dicho esto pues bueno vamos a continuar como está, también me gustaría recordarles que... El, varias escenas te aparecen o no si llevaste los confidentes al máximo Entonces el final que yo le estoy mostrando es con todos los confidentes al máximo Así que disfruta At any rate, there's no point in worrying about it here. We should work all of this out somewhere else. You're right. Now that I think about it, we've been out all night too. So let's go to Leblon. Hmm? Samire, let's go! Oh, right! I'm home. You didn't tell me you'd be out all night. You should have at least gotten in touch with me about it. I'm sorry, Sojiro. We're the ones who kept her out so late. We should be apologizing for her. And we're all back so early in the morning. We're awfully sorry. Stop apologizing so much. Being worried isn't exactly on my list of favorite activities. But I assume you had a good reason for it, right? Um... Have you seen him at all lately? Uh, him? What are you bringing him up for? You know what his deal is right now, Sojiro? Well, yeah. He's been locked up since last year. Locked up? What's going on? W what are you guys talking about? Well, I was gonna ask you that, but now I'm getting a strange feeling that I've been seeing him until fairly recently. Anyways, why don't you all take a seat before I go for his situation? So he's in juvenile detention. Well, I need to stock up on a few supplies before I open up shop. Feel free to hang out here while I'm out. Thank you. So, this is our original reality, right? Or are we in another different one now? You know, these unexpected changes could actually be the end results of our actions in our own reality. Remember how he was originally planning on turning himself into the police? Then Akechi-kun did it for him instead. But that took place in Dr. Maruki's reality, which means he's currently... So everything that would have happened if it weren't for Dr. Maruki, now it's actually happened? You know, what y'all are saying is starting to make sense. But in that case, in the real reality, uh, I, I mean, the reality we're in right now, what happened with Morgana and Akechi? Don't say it. Just like with my mom. No Morganas. Did someone say my name? This again! Recycle gags suck! Why do you always have to get us all worried like that? How are you here? Looks like it really was just the metaverse me who disappeared. Eventually, I woke up in Shibuya. Getting all the way back here took some time. Come on, don't scare us like that! Oh, uh, but wait, does that mean Akechi's... What is it, Mona-chan? Well... About him... No... I can't believe Akechi-san's really... What the hell? So he was fighting that hard... 
knowing he was going to disappear the whole time. So he's incarcerated, and Akechi is... I thought I'd braced myself for the decision we made, but... This truly is a harsh reality. We all decided to live our real lives and look to the future from here. But even so... I... I just can't accept Senpai being stuck behind bars. Why don't we try to help him somehow? Nice. I'm impressed with the idea. Yeah, we won't put up with this injustice. But what can we do to actually help him get out of there? I, I remember Sis telling me a while ago, in order to overturn a sentence, you need definitive evidence that proves the subject's innocence. So what you're saying is, we just gotta find that evidence, right? Then we're on the case. There's no time for us to waste. We're going to show off what the Phantom Thieves are capable of. One last time. That's right. Let's go. We're going to save our leader no matter what it takes. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Now that we know the name, all we need is an address. You're right. We'll succeed if we all do it together. Sis has yet to say anything, but I believe she's looking into possible actions as well. As for me, I will look into every viable solution. Thanks. Make sure you give my regards to Shiho-san. Oh, could we try getting their help as well? I'm sure they would gladly cooperate. That would be a great help. I'll leave that to you. Mm -hmm. We'll talk again tomorrow. Let's save him. No matter what. I already told you, there was nothing wrong with his conduct. I was his guardian, so I should know best. Hmm. I bet you're just trying to dig up some dirt. You probably want to pin a crime on him. But I'm not gonna let that happen, you hear me? I'll announce his name as the key figure in the completion of the medicine at the next conference. I've heard that Miwa-chan's progress is going well. Indeed, that's true, but... I'm certain that this will help prove his good character in the trials. Please. I want to increase his chances of being found innocent as much as possible. I see. So that's why. You'll cooperate too, right? And so we need to release an official opinion from this school to object his arrest to the police. You'll all agree with me, correct? What good are teachers if they don't believe in their students? Yeah, that's the kid. Also, you guys know someone in public security, right? Won't you introduce me to him? I have to protect him. Using whatever means necessary. I'm begging you. P please, I, I beg of you. Please help me collect enough signatures. I, I want to help a friend who's innocent. He's a really good guy. He always fights for the sake of others. He's... He's my best friend! So basically, the reason why we were able to come to our senses is because he saved us. And now he's in a crisis himself. I believe it's our turn to save him this time. But our words alone won't reach anyone. That's why I need Yokota-san and everyone's help. Won't you please protest the police with me? Please! Padres ver a todos ayudando. Please tell me if you know of this young man. I need testimonies from people to use in the special article in regards to him. Did he truly look like a boy who would cause an assault here? There's a discrepancy in the other residents' testimonies in the court decision at the time. Please, you have to remember. Look at the guy ranked number one in these rankings. Isn't his score amazing? I really want to go up against him, but I heard he's been arrested for some crime he didn't commit. But 
I can't help him out with just myself alone. We need tons more people's voices, like on online forums and getting signatures and stuff. You have to say with me that it makes no sense that he's been arrested when he's done nothing bad. Please, please help him out. Yes, it's thanks to that young man. I would still be trapped in that awful match-fixing if not for his support. And now, this honest gentleman is locked up in Juvenile Hall, despite being innocent. This time, I wish to be the one to come to his rescue. Please, he doesn't belong in juvenile detention at all. I swear I'll make up for the missed practice. Please, let me take just a short break. Uh, coach? No deal. But... I've got a few connections up my own sleeve that'll probably be more useful than simply doing your own legwork. I'll also try calling around to check if any of my other trainees have some useful info. But if I do this for you, it means you're continuing practice as scheduled. Got it? I'm sure it's what he'd want for you, too. Thank you so much, Coach. You escape the prison of the heart only to be imprisoned in reality. What a most ironic outcome. Your wish for others' happiness prevailed over your own. However, I feel as though all is finally well. In the end, you willingly chose the correct path. Most importantly, you never compromised your values for your own well-being. The final arcana you have acquired is the world. It is the power for an individual to stand on their own two feet swayed by none. That power shall fuel the hope shared amongst your friends and yourself to strive towards a better future. With the world, you are no longer without a place to belong and will never trudge a path alone again. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Long time no see. We met last on Christmas Eve, right? Uh, it, never mind, it, it's nothing. I have two great pieces of news for you today. First, we finally managed to prosecute Masayo Shishido. He'll likely be found guilty. I'm grateful for your cooperation with the trial. Your testimony proved to be very useful. To be frank, it seemed almost hopeless at one point. But thanks to the civil protests, some of the more indecisive prosecutors came to our side. It will likely be some more time until the hearing begins, but this is the first step to true change. The only charges right now are for breaking election laws, breaking funding control laws, and bribery. I knew that proving the metaverse's existence would be difficult, but I still find myself dissatisfied. Shido did admit to all of his crimes, though, including everything you know about. Now for the other piece of good news. As of today, you'll be free to go. That's right. Shido's confession brought light to the truth of your case. We were able to prove your innocence in the original assault charge that led to your arrest. Your sentence will no doubt be rescinded. You're a free man. 
The others did everything they could for you. Bringing in the woman who was the victim in your case as a witness was the turning point. To think they'd be able to track down someone involved in a case from well over a year ago. That wasn't all. An unbelievable amount of support has come in from various other places as well. Regardless, the righteous phantom thieves are gone. All that remains is for us adults to lead society in the right direction. Then again, I have to wonder if you believe what I say. I suppose I'll have to do my best so that you can believe in me in full someday. Still, I'm glad I was able to save you in court. I've never felt so happy in my entire life. I'm not quite sure how to put it, but... Saving your future meant more to me than my own career. I feel like you even taught me how to live. <laughs> that's not true. By the way, there's something that's been on my mind. What did the treasure of my world turn out to be? I suppose it doesn't matter now one way or the other. There is... One more thing. I haven't even told Makoto about this, but I realized something after meeting all of you. My most prized treasure is the justice I use to protect those important to me. Makoto helped show me that as well. Once the Shido case is settled, I'm thinking of quitting my job and becoming a defense lawyer. I wanted to reform the system, but I'll have to leave that to someone else. Going forward, I want to enact justice not for myself, but for the sake of others. <laughs> well then, I need to go submit the paperwork for your release. Thank you again for everything you've done. See you later. Kept me waiting, jeez. To be honest, I didn't really want to come. But Futaba just wouldn't stop bugging me. Anyway, you're a free man now, aren't you? <laughs> It'd look bad on me if you did something again under my watch. <laughs> All right, let's go home. It's cold, so get in quick. not moving at all. Due to the railway incident this morning, widespread delays have impacted the various lines and... Another accident, huh? <laughs> Reminds me of that day back in April. Remember when we went to introduce you at the school? It's almost been a whole year since then. <laughs> Thinking back, I was pretty awful to you, throwing you in that storage room all by yourself. And again, soon you're gonna be. Made some great friends here. You better thank them when we get back, all right? Whoa! You did it! It has been a while. Not bad. You look fine. I'm glad you seem well. And the best for last, me. So we meet again. It's good to see you. All right, so let's grab a table. I gotta head out and grab some groceries. I'm sure you guys have plenty to talk about. Now we're only missing one last person. She texted me a little while ago that she's finished with practice and heading here. I'm guessing she'll be here any minute now. Sorry I'm late. Senpai. Um, welcome back. All right, that's everyone. Come on, Sumire, take a seat. Man, it went well, yeah? I'm so glad we didn't give up. 
This was certainly worth the effort. We didn't know what to do once you were gone, but then we realized something. Even if we don't have the metaverse or any other special powers, we can still change reality. If we didn't do that at the very least, we'd be betraying the entire reason we stood up to Maruki. We'll oppose the injustices of this reality with our own strength. That's what we all agreed upon. Ever since then, we've been doing just that. Busting our asses trying to get you out of the clink. Not just us. Everyone who believed in you joined us. Thanks to that, we've got our leader back. <laughs> right back at ya. They treated you fine, right? <laughs> Actually, did you lose some weight? It would be understandable. I've heard the food in prison is quite foul. So, uh, what did you eat? Was it bugs? Fermented mackerel? Or maybe durian? You're missing the point. Eh, you're gonna get some good food soon enough, though. Boss is out getting stuff for our party right now. Come on, everyone's back together. It's time to celebrate! <laughs> I guess you really were hungry. Oh, and that wasn't you? Sorry about that. Oh, it was Sumire. Sojiro will be back soon. Just to hang in there. Oh, yeah! Uh, sorry for not minding my business. But we heard from Boss. You're going back home next month? Can't you stay here? Sure, we proved you're not guilty, but people are still gonna label you there, aren't they? Ain't it just gonna be uncomfortable going back? What's the matter? We were all so excited a moment ago. How about this? If our leader is leaving, the Phantom Thieves are truly disbanding, correct? Today, we can celebrate his release and commemorate the day of our disbandment. <laughs> what kind of commemoration is that? <laughs> I was serious when I said it. It sounds like a good idea to me. I guess you're right. We just gotta double our excitement for today. About that, there's something I need to tell you guys. I've decided to go with him when he leaves. He's pretty special after all. Plus, we need someone there in case he turns back into a delinquent. Really? Either way, I want you guys to add my farewell party to the one we're having tonight. I don't know. Is that important? You're not leaving for another month, right? It is far too early for a farewell party. That'll just muddy the purpose of this celebration. Oh, how dare you! Sumire, at least you're on my side, right? Uh, me? Then, what say we call this a second round welcoming party? That's the ticket, my re-welcoming party. Nobody can complain about that. So, for the food at my party, I demand sushi! Sushi! Man, you guys are loud. I could hear you from outside. Chief, they're so mean. <sighs> Noisy as always. Hey, I'm not some normal cat. <laughs> I can't understand what you're saying to me, you know. Here. No, I would much rather have sushi than something like... Hmm? <clears throat> this is delicious. <laughs> What an assertive little guy. I wonder where he got that from. <laughs> That's just part and parcel of who I am. The one, the only, Morgana. Stop trying to talk so big. You're just a cat now. Shut up. I don't need to hear that from some dumb ape. What was that? It's things like that. You get angry so fast. Oh, and you're vulgar. You little... Why don't you go disappear again? Shut up! We're supposed to be celebrating, not fighting! They're at it again. You guys never change, do you? Seriously, that weirdo Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? Don't worry. Being weird is just a sign of your individuality. Uh, you don't need to defend him about that. <laughs> well, anyways, we're all here now. Let's kick this party off! Very well. Sojiro, I want sushi! Hmm. 
but seriously. Aquí para waifu para rato. Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. <laughs> oh boy. Good evening. I didn't know you were still working. Sorry for stopping by so late. Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here. I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. That's considerate of him. I hope I'm not imposing. I know I already saw you before, but I really wanted to have some time with you today. So I thought I'd stop by on the way home from practice. <laughs> Same here. So much I was going to say once I finally got to talk to you, but now that you're here and I can see your face for myself, none of it seems so important anymore. It's all right. I understand why you did what you did. On another note, I brought you something. It's chocolate, since it's Valentine's Day today. Normally, I'd find that a little melodramatic, but I'm glad to hear it, really. Just checking, but we're back in the real world, right? Oh, I wanted to say, Senpai, I... Ever since that day, I've finally been living for myself, as myself, and from now on, I always will. Uh, so, um, may I sit next to you? 
You're going back to your hometown soon, yes? <laughs> it's sweet of you to ask. But I'm going to keep working hard. Wherever you are, I'll make sure you hear about me. She always said she performed best when thinking about someone she loved. I think I finally understand Kasumi, what she was trying to say. When I think about you, I get the feeling the competition's going to go just fine. I think you know what I mean. Perfect timing. You've got a guest. Sorry to bother you this early in the morning. I was wondering if you'd like this. There's no obligation, of course. You've helped me through a lot. I wanted to express my appreciation. Sorry for how this is coming off. I didn't mean for it to seem like I'm just dumping my leftovers on you. I'm the one who should be thanking you, so thank you. Well, look at this hotshot. Lucky guy having a gorgeous lady drop by this early just to give you treats. I hope you don't mind that I stopped by today. No doubt you already got some from someone special. I should really be going anyway. Sorry to impose. And this is hardly the end of my debt, of course. Chocolate isn't going to cover all you've done for me. See you around. Bueno. Ahora vienen las consecuencias. Give chocolate to the guys they like yesterday. Hey, are you going to be okay? My gentlemanly nature is making me worry about you. Hey, what did you do? Inside the store? Is that Whoa. I saw the light on in here last night. Did you think you'd just try and trick this romantically impaired fool? I was worried about you, so I came to check on you yesterday. You could have just said you were busy, even if you had to lie about what you were doing. So you already have a favorite? I came to say hello yesterday, but when I looked in the window, you were with someone else. You dick! Yesterday? Who were you with? <sighs> I got worried yesterday. So I read my own fortune. It said that you're seeing someone else. You seem to be doing well. Did my little guinea pig forget to turn off his lights last night? You're such a problem, child. I left work early yesterday to see how you were, and I saw you with someone else. What the heck am I doing? I got quite the scoop yesterday. A boyfriend caught cheating. I'm not very happy about it, though. You were here with someone else yesterday, weren't you? Are you cheating on me? Please tell me it's not true. Take it. Take my chocolate, please. Before I crush it. And here I came all this way for you. This was for you. Here, take your chocolate. There's no need to be modest. Just take the chocolate. You can eat this, right? It's chocolate. Here, it's chocolate, got it? Here's your chocolate. Kid, say something. Corran por sus vidas. Are you making a fool of me? Enough of this irresponsible behavior. You're the scum of the earth. I'm disappointed. Are you being serious? You'll pay for this. Stop messing around. So not funny. This is absolutely terrible. Oh, uh, I was just about to go shopping. <laughs> Take your time. I'll see you later, if you survive.
Cheer up. Here, have this. What a pain, though. I had to come up with this whole web of lies for you. I was having him help out at the store. I didn't realize it was Valentine's Day. Don't worry, he always talks about you. You're his one and only. That was enough to get you off the hook for now. But make sure your story matches mine. Got it? Me siento aquí si tuve que tapar el micrófono porque me está partiendo de la risa y no van a escuchar los diálogos, pero no puedo dejar de reír siempre que veo esta parte. Es demasiado hilarante. Que como pueden ver ahora sí están saltando los meses durísimo. Y creo que este ya es el día final. Step out for a bit if you like. No, I'd prefer you stick around. Everyone I owe something to has got to hear this. I'm thinking about moving away. Moving? It's just a hell of a lot's happened this past year, you know? It's got me thinking about the future and how I still want to get back on the track team. That's why I want to move closer to a physical rehab facility, get my knee fixed up while going to school. At the earliest, all this is going to kick off starting next month. I see. That is quite sudden. Hmm. Um? Actually, I've got some news too. I'm in the middle of looking into studying abroad. Just short term. I've been wondering what would be the smartest move for my career, so... You're moving too. Both Haru and I are looking for places to live on our own. Starting next month. In fact, our moves will probably occur around the same time as Ryuji's. I plan to keep learning about the business while also attending college. And that's why Mako-chan and I were talking about how we won't be able to get together like we used to. Are you gonna tell them too? Um, so... I passed the entrance exam. I'm gonna be a high schooler starting in April. First high school, then college. Then I can finally research cognitive science for real. Even you, Futaba? No, I apologize. I should be wishing you all the best of luck. Nah, you do have a point. We are going our separate ways. Mm -hmm. Plus, this isn't a permanent farewell. It seems you're all taking great strides forward. I, however, will not be going anywhere until I've completed my current painting. No matter how many years it takes, I will express this feeling that's grown within me since we first banded together. That's still some kind of stride though, ain't it? No matter what we may go through, or how many times we may stumble, we'll follow the path we believe in. That's what the Phantom Thieves are all about. Stop trying to be such a cool cat. I am not a cat! Yeah, I guess I am. There's still no way I'm accepting Doc's reality, but if it weren't for going through that, I don't know if I would have felt this way now. It's like following through with what I want to do in life. I guess I learned how to really believe in my future. In that case, wouldn't you say Sumire learned the same thing? I mean, she is at training camp right now. Indeed. While her viewpoint may differ from the Phantom Thieves' beliefs, there's still much we can learn from her. Oh, that reminds me. Sumire left something with me. She told me she forgot to give us this the other day. Is that... a newspaper clipping? Guess it was lying on the ground when we got out of Dr. Maruki's palace. This article! It's the case about Dr. Maruki's loved one. The one whose family was murdered. I'd be willing to bet. This is Doc's treasure. So her case was the origin of Marogi's distortion. Would you hold on to this? Hmm. 
We've all got to keep living with our eyes focused on our dreams. Otherwise, Dr. Maruki's gonna give us all kinds of shit. You're absolutely right. <laughs> well, I'm very impressed. You've all become quite mature. So let me throw you a little celebration in honor of the next chapters of your lives. Order whatever you'd like on me. Thank you. Oh yeah! It's all you can eat and drink, people! Uh, uh, huh? Boss, thank you for the generosity. Uh, th that wasn't what I said. <laughs> Could you at least go easy on me? Everybody <laughs> <eat up. laughs> Whatever you guys want. Woohoo! Great cheese. Y otra vez un super salto, pero ahora sí que... Eh... No, este va a ser... Esta va a ser otra cita. White Day. That's tomorrow, right? You, uh... Yeah, you had kind of a rough Valentine's Day. So, now you got a chance to redeem yourself. What's your plan? You've at least got some kind of present ready, right? Get it together, kid. Sometimes I don't know if you're fearless or just plain careless. Fine. Listen up, and I'll give you the recipe for the ultimate date. Whoa. The chief has an ultimate date plan? I better listen in too, just in case. First off, you're gonna need a gift. This won't work without one. Can't go wrong with flowers. Just make sure you buy them before the date. You gotta present them near the end. Surprise her. So you can't let her see you buying them on the date. Got it? Huh. Gotta give them flowers, huh? I gotta take notes. Next, think about where you're taking her. You gotta want somewhere with the right atmosphere. But it's gotta be peaceful. Oh, how about that new aquarium exhibit in Shinagawa? Just saw a commercial for it. 
Might be a good spot, right? The aquarium's a good place for a date. I see. Now, once the date part's over, you gotta take her out to dinner. Somewhere nice, too. But it's kinda last minute to make reservations. All the fancy places get booked pretty fast around White Day. Okay, right. Too late to make any reservations. Oh, wait! What?! Damn it. I don't usually do this, but I know a place. Can't guarantee anything. I bet they're full up too. But you might get an edge if you mention my name. Wow, amazing! Chief has connections! So once you're at dinner, you get to talking, enjoying yourselves, and that's when you give it to her. You were paying attention. It's the perfect time to surprise her. That ought to do it. Just follow the plan and you're safe. Wow, this plan is foolproof. Leave it to the chief. Well, I taught you my secrets. The rest is on you. Do your prep and make those reservations. Good luck. On that note, I'm going home. Now it's up to you. You should start prepping right away. Don't waste the Chief's advice, all right? Let's see. The reservation comes first. You remember that restaurant Chief told you about? Thank you for calling, sir. Were you looking to make a reservation? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we're fully booked for tomorrow. White day is crazy, huh? But... You're a friend of Mr. Sakura's? My apologies, sir. If you could just hold for one moment. Thank you for your patience. You wanted a dinner course for two on the 14th. We will have a table ready for you. Dang. The Chief has serious clout. Could I ask your name and contact information? Okay, your dinner plans are locked in. Now you just gotta get the flowers, and then it's off to the aquarium and dinner. It's gonna be busy tomorrow, so we'd better get rest while we can. Today's the day. Let's go get those flowers. I think there was a florist in that underground passage in Shibuya. Madre sea. Ya casi ya llevo 50 minutos. Oh, what brings you here today? I see. Okay, leave it to me. That should do it. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, that comes out to... Hold on, let me cover this one. You've been taking care of me yourself, so... I need to express appreciation for you, too. Good luck! I'm rooting for you! Okay, now you're all ready for the date. You know who you plan on inviting, right? Don't worry, I'm a gentleman who knows his manners. I won't be tagging along. All right, good luck out there. of fish I'd never have realized just seeing them from a distance they're all so beautiful come to think of it I remember we had a family trip to an aquarium when I was younger Kasumi was so excited to see the fish but 
Apparently, I was so scared I cried the whole time. No, maybe because I've got you here, or something like that. <laughs> um, Senpai? If I'm wrong, you can just tell me, but is this a date for White Day? I knew it! I'm so glad I got to spend it with you, Senpai. Since we're on a nice date like this, though, we might as well have fun. Wait, I think this is the end of the exhibit. Thank you for taking me out today. I'll be even more motivated for tomorrow's practice. What? Well, I suppose I'll take you up on that. This restaurant is beautiful. I'm impressed, Senpai. Side voices. Sorry about that. Love is so strange. I feel so happy when I'm with my boyfriend, but even tiny failures get me so depressed. As long as I've got you, though, I feel like I can get through anything. Oh, senpai, I'm glad we're on the same level. Um, so to speak. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. Huh? Looks like something's happening. Oh, it's gorgeous! What? Thank you! So much! I never saw this coming, but I'm so, so happy! <laughs> You're going to spoil me, you know? I don't know if I even deserve to be this happy. I guess you put a lot of effort into this date, but I shouldn't have expected anything less, Senpai. You take care of everybody, and you always put their happiness before anything else. But I don't want this to be one-sided. One day, I want to take care of you like you do for me. Though, I guess that might not be for a while. Thank you. It'll definitely happen eventually, so please be patient. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little too worked up about it. Um... We still have some time left tonight, so... Can I stay with you just a little longer? Hey, you're finally taking off tomorrow. Sanjiro sí. said you don't have to help out here today. Go and see your friends before you leave. Este es nuestro último día del juego. Off you go then. Try not to cry. <laughs> And she says we can make our student debuts together. So, like, I did it, right? I fulfilled the promise to go to high school? Yes! Mission complete. Well, mission started, anyway. I still have to actually graduate. If I'm being honest, I'm actually really, really nervous about it. I don't know if I can make friends. This is way out of my comfort zone. Everything I think about is giving me anxiety. But I know I can't stay in my room forever, and that's way more important. And I want to get into college, major in real cognitive science, like my mom. 
For now, I'll give up my notebook. And that reward. The one where I don't have to leave you, I mean. And when I make my dream come true one day, when I've earned it, I'll... I'll take them both back. So, you better not cry. I won't, and you won't, and we're... we're both gonna be just fine. Saying goodbye to me? Oh, cut it out. You're gonna see me tomorrow. Just remember to pack once you get back, here. I don't want you forgetting anything important here. Hmm? What's wrong? Well, we've all been through a lot, but it seems like everything's changed for the better. Try to behave yourself back home, would you? <laughs> Not like you ever listened to me anyway. Here, I want you to have these. I've got them memorized already. With that stuff, you can make the same... Well, no, that'd be a waste. Put your own spin on the flavor. Develop it. Make it yours. Come on, you should get going. You still got things to do, right? like you're doing well. I decided to stop by after work. I used to come by this area on occasion. I was always a fan of LeBlanc's coffee. It's tomorrow, right? The day you go home? I appreciate the offer, but I imagine you've got other things to attend to. On the record, You've been cleared of all the crimes you were accused of. Unfortunately, the stigmas that came with them are a little harder to simply wipe away. You might find that even now, sometimes it'll feel like the whole world's against you. So, just in case, take this. Whenever you need help, I'll be on your side. Remember that. I'll be doing my part to bring some real justice to our legal system. Can't rely on the Phantom Thieves forever. You came. I wanted to update you on Miwa-chan. <laughs> Her symptoms subsided thanks to the new medicine. She still has some way to go, but it won't be too long until I get to see her smile. Yeah, all that's left to do is wait. I wouldn't have been able to finish the new medicine without your help. Thank you so much, my little guinea pig. Oh, I guess I can't call you that now that you've helped me so much. Same goes for the situation with Oyamata. You did everything you could to help me with it. I don't know where all that devotion comes from. Maybe I should take a cue from you. Here, I want you to have this. So, here today, gone tomorrow, huh? Now, I'm just a neighborhood doctor. No more assistant. Wonder if it's gonna be rough without you. Well, the thought crossed my mind. But somehow, I think we'll be fine. And hey, if I feel like it, I can always surprise you with a house call. Look after yourself out there, all right? Not just for your own sake. Madre mía de todos los que me tengo que despedir. Ya casi llevamos una hora. Sorry to bother you when you're so busy. But I wanted to see you before you left. Won't be long until I'm living alone too. We'll both have to get used to the quiet. Really? <laughs> I guess I have something to look forward to then. My sister and I are actually going to go look at my new place soon. A year ago, all this would have been unthinkable for me. But nobody told me to do this. It's a path I chose for myself. Of course, I'd never have gotten to this point alone. 
You gave me the push I needed. Back then, I was just Aoyama another Ichome. honor student. This is Aoyama Ichome. So I want you Train to have this. Closing. It helped me learn to love studying. One day, I'll be a police commissioner. I know it won't be easy, but I also know I'll never give up. By giving this to you, I want to prove that. And I hope it'll comfort you when I can't be there myself. It doesn't matter if we're far apart. Our hearts will be as close as ever. And that'll help me keep fighting. Aoyama Ichome. This is Aoyama Ichome. Train doors are now closing. Please stand back. I've been waiting for you. Even though it's Sunday, aren't you nervous being at school? Just the two of us? It sure was a crazy year, huh? Try to be a little more diligent with school once you're home. That's the spirit. But this is the last time we'll see each other for a while. You can at least look a little sad about it. I'm kidding. Honestly, seeing you so happy gives me peace of mind. This year has felt so fulfilling. I had to take care of you sometimes, but I also learned from you. So this isn't meant to thank you for all of that, but... You get special treatment, Master. So make sure you let me know if you need anything, okay? It wasn't even for that long, but... You're my student and my master. No matter where you are, no matter how long it takes, you'll always have me. Take care. If you ever need me, just say the word. And I Ay, perdón. Bueno, no lo leyeron. Pero fue una linda despedida, la verdad. La verdad es que estuvo muy linda. Bueno. Una de las confidentes más odiadas, pero vamos por allá. I've been waiting for you. Isn't it kind of refreshing to see each other like this in broad daylight? Okay, let's start off this celebratory moment with something to drink. Fine, I'll be waiting. One of these days, we gotta have an all-night bender, okay? So I'm thinking it's time for me to write an article about Kayo's case. Ever since all that stuff happened with Shido, the stories haven't stopped rolling in. But it looks like I can finally avenge her. And it's all thanks to your hard work. You know, you and I are partners now. In a lot of ways. Here, it's a record of all the struggles we shared. So this is it, huh? You go your way and I go mine. It's gonna get so boring around here. So something tells me going home isn't going to keep you from stirring up some trouble. Call it a reporter's hunch, I guess. I suppose you're just a permanent person of interest. So no dropping off the map, okay? for you. I have a shogi tournament tomorrow, so I can't see you off, but um have a safe trip. Yes. I'll do my best. If I do well, that will make it 10 straight wins. I'll work hard so I can give you a good report. After hearing that you're going home, I prepared myself for this moment every day, but somehow seeing your face has dispelled all anxiety. Event, it's a strange clarity. Like I can see all possibilities on the board and grasp all of them at once. Thus, my next move is clear. I'd like to give you this. The lance piece moves exclusively forward. No other direction is possible until it is promoted. Our lives demand the maneuvers of a lance. And so we shall continue onward on our own paths. 
However, a promoted lance can also move sideways. If so deployed, it can even end up next to another. So now we will part ways, if only briefly. When we have promoted, we'll find each other again. Progressing toward opening its first location. Actually, I'll be involved with its launch, even while attending college. Yes, I confess. I'm excited to see what the future has in store. I can only imagine it'll be difficult. I'll have to balance my studies and managing the company. But it's all for the sake of making my dream come true. I swear I'll make this work. And that said, of course, it does make me a bit nervous. I have to wonder if it's really within my power. But as long as I have you, I have to ensure I'm worthy of your support and your pride. By the way, I tried making something for you. I'd like to sell handcrafted goods at my cafe as well, so this is the first step in my practice. I have my grandfather's reputation to think of, after all. And my father's legacy. It has to be a comforting, welcoming space for everyone. Some place to spend your peaceful hours. When my cafe's ready to open, you'll be the first to know. I've already decided you're going to be my first customer. Yo, man, spring break's supposed to be the most fun part of the year, but instead you're just moving away. Then again, so am I. I guess this is probably the last time we'll be meeting up here. Dude, don't say it like that. You make it sound like I'm gonna die or something. Look, this isn't gonna be the last time we see each other. I'll come visit whenever you want. Honestly, even with the rehab, I don't know if my leg's ever gonna be how it was before. But when I think about how much I want to run, well, I figure there's no point lying to myself. Nothing's guaranteed. I don't know if I'm gonna get anywhere, but well, you could say that for any goal, right? I don't want to live stuck on regrets or shame. I, I'd rather just run and keep on running. And hey, you better practice too. See, if we share our times, we can even compete from far away. Man, when I think about going to school without you guys, I don't know, I can't imagine it. It's nice feeling like I got a future worth looking forward to for once though. And it's all thanks to you, man. you have come to say farewell. I have some words of reflection for you in this time of parting. This twisted, broken world sought to crush you, yet you salvaged it, and with your ideals stitched it whole. You were a true trickster of this modern age, a beloved champion of a burdened public, and a man of such great heights. Well, where will his path take him next, I wonder? What further guidance do you need from me? From here on, all will unfold as you wish it. That said, should you desire me to keep watch over you, perhaps I could oblige. I have more than mere words to give you today, though. 
allow me to grant you a parting gift. Not as the one who leads you, but simply as Lavenza. This is my blessing to you, to carry on your journey. You were confined to yourself for so long. Now at last it seems only right that you bear its key. In the past, guests of the Velvet Room have received their keys upon their very first visits. However, I was unable to pass it on to you at that point. This is the least I can do for you now. With this key in hand, you will be able to break free of whatever trials may imprison you in the future. Though of course, you have already chosen the path of true freedom. By inspiring others to take up arms and fight for their own beliefs, you may change the world itself. You walk the path of a true trickster. May it lead you to fortune beyond imagining. Yeah. I hear you're heading home tomorrow. Perfect. I got a story for you. Karu got accepted to high school. He'll be a Shujin Academy student in the spring. Apparently, he wants to become like you. Ain't that dumb. You won't even be at that school anymore. Well, being a bro means someone will be following in your footsteps. But I can't leave everything to you. I'm the parent here, so I gotta do my job. Oh, yeah, here. It's an EY family gecko. Take a... Having you around the place helped me realize times sure have changed. But I'm not going obsolete just yet. I still got more to learn, just like you. Looks like you got plenty of guys following your lead now. I'm real glad we met. Take care. play in person again or wait oh man if your hometown has an arcade I could totally do an away match there oh right I returned the money and he forgave me we're friends now and he's even playing gun about with me he's still a total newbie so I'm teaching him all the pro strats oh but don't stress it's not all boot camp this time I'm going easier on him Thanks for everything. You've helped me so much. I'm gonna give you my secret weapon. See, that's my strategy. I use this to practice at home. But these days I'm kinda too busy helping mom or playing with my friends. At first, I thought you were kinda weird, but... Now, uh, you seem pretty cool, so... I'm still your teacher when it comes to games, but you're my teacher in real life. Oh, that's right. You'll be departing tomorrow. It's sad to see this as a season of farewells, but... I didn't expect we'd all go our separate ways. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. This time last year, I'd never have imagined I'd meet you all, leave my home, or become a phantom thief. Do you remember the painting I submitted to that competition? 
Desire and hope it was. Well, I would like to bestow it upon you as a parting gift. As of now, my canvas is still blank. It's not for lack of inspiration. There's so much I want to express, I can barely contain my passion. But my heart has not led me astray yet. I'll paint as it guides me. Even should I scar my work with doubt, hesitation, chaos. Certainly, that's a beauty all its own. Your life is no worse for its own scars. Your truest beauty lies in them. And I hope you tell me their story someday. since you're leaving tomorrow, but I'll work hard so I will continue to grow while I wait for you to return. Oh, is that so? Well, in that case, I should work extra hard. I've been receiving encouragement from my clients lately. I've realized what may first seem like an obstacle can actually be a valuable, meaningful stepping stone. If I hadn't left my hometown and ended up here, I couldn't have used my powers to help people. And, more importantly, I'd never have met you. Here. This card represents your future. Please, take it as a good luck charm. An upright fortune card represents happiness to come but it's an omen of doom when reversed. Then again, it seems like you have the power to bring joy to anyone's fate. I understand now. We don't have to cling to fate. We can change it with our own hands. So, look, I ain't gonna wait till the cows come home. You take too long, I'll come get you myself, Dagnabbit. you came. It still hasn't hit me that you'll be gone soon. I'm busy getting ready for my study abroad, too. Gotta research schools, places to live. We're gonna be pretty far away from each other. What? But I'll be on the other side of the world, and you've got tons to deal with already. Then again, it's not like that stopped you before. Okay, then. I'll be waiting. Drop by whenever you want. By the way, um, a little girl stopped me the other day in Shibuya. She said she saw me in magazines, and that she wants to be just like me when she grows up. <laughs> it felt incredible. Oh, right. Vague did a special piece on me in this month's issue. I said it all in the interview, but... I'm gonna work hard. One day, I'll be modeling across the world. I've gotta reach people. I wanna give someone hope, like you did for me. Maybe when you see me next, I'll be a total big shot. Some kind of fancy jet setter lady. Or maybe not. I swear, I'm gonna become a great woman. One you can't take your eyes off of. So just wait for me, okay? Ya casi acabamos. Eh, sé que me falta Mishima. Eh, 
Ok, estos son todos los ítems que por cierto casi todos se van a perder al final. Aquí están muchas de las cosas que hemos conseguido también. Esto igual y también me sirve para cuando les haga el video del New Game Plus. Porque sé que o sea, si esto yo lo dejo tal cual como está, muy poca gente la va a ver. Eh, pero bueno, estas son todas las cosas que estamos tomando. Y eso nos va a ayudar un poco con los confidentes en el New Game Plus. Pero bueno, prefiero hacer un video explicándolo un poquito más por separado esto. Y que en vez de que este, sea este de hora, para lo que yo creo que hora y media todavía que le que va a quedar. Y el otro, el New Game Plus, yo creo que lo puedo hacer que dure una media hora, 25 minutos, media hora. Porque sí, son un chingo de dudas que tengo que resolverles en el proceso. Ok, vamos a hablar acá con Mishima. Oh, so you're finally heading home tomorrow, huh? I guess this means the Phantom Thieves have disbanded. My documentary script is going well, though. It's not really close to done, but it's coming along. Huh? Uh, well, I haven't really gotten to that. I've been too busy actually writing it. But when I need one, I'll definitely be consulting the ex-Phantom Thieves themselves. Makes me wonder how many people I can reach with my work. It's exciting, but kind of scary, too. It might be a bestseller, or it might just fade into obscurity. But I want to put my hope into this. It's a message from the old me to everyone in the world. So, even if I'm scared of failing, I'll face this head on. Just like you did with that first calling card. Oh yeah, it's still a pretty early draft, but... It mean a lot if you could read it sometime. I could really use your feedback. You probably had tons of crazy fights I don't even know about, right? So, we should sit down and talk about them sometime. The more of it I get on record, the better. I'll make sure the story of the Phantom Thieves goes down in history. Y creo que ahora sí ya quedó. Este fue nuestro último día. Hablamos con todos y agarramos los ítems que necesitábamos tomar. Between a cat, a human, or some kind of vehicle, it's been hard to say for sure who or what I am. But whatever else I am, I can say without a doubt, I'm your partner. Well then, we should probably go home and get packed, huh? You finished saying your goodbyes? Well, how'd it go? Did it make you feel like you want to stay? I see. You must have made a lot of good memories here. You're leaving early tomorrow from Shibuya, right? Make sure you pack up before you head to sleep. Oh, and take that stupid cat with you. I don't want it getting lost and ending up back here. Don't make fun of me! I can go wherever I want all by myself. Huh, it really never stops meowing, huh? Hey, Futaba, what's he saying? Is he sad that he has to leave me? He said, Sojiro stupid. What? What kind of translation is that? Let me have a nice goodbye. <laughs> Mona's your responsibility now. Leave Sojiro to me. I've been counted on. Oh, man. Even if you're not here, I'll make sure I do my best. So, you go do your best, too. <sighs> Thank you for everything.
Hey, you got everything? When I took you in, I thought I was the one helping you. But it turns out it was the other way around. Take care. Don't be so cheeky. Oh, and sorry. I wanted to have Futaba see you off, too. I haven't been able to find her since this morning, though. Same with that cat. If you end up back in the city, come on by. I'll at least treat you to a nice cup of coffee. Wait, that means I can't go closing this door, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Hurry up and go. Yeah. Este es el final final. After we said we'd disband. We are all on break after all. No more entrance exams. I can drive you to the station. You really, really gotta go? Uh. Shit. <laughs> They've even followed us here? What should we do? Need a hand? Hmm? Dr. Maruki? You're suggesting uh -huh. we split up? <laughs> Should we? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! Bye! Come and get us! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we then? There's no charge. Oh? If you find yourself struggling in life, you can start over, like me. Remember that. So yeah, if that ends up saving you, then we're square. <laughs> Good luck. Whoa. Damn, man! Those dudes just wouldn't give up! Wish it went smoother, but hmm? I guess this is it. Be sure to eat well. We'll see you. Soon, right? If you don't come back, we'll find you there. Hmm? Alright, it's mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Aww, gotta go already? We don't make the train schedule. See you later, my dude! <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> you taught me to keep my head up, didn't you? Coming with you. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Take care.
pues ahora sí ya acabamos. Eh, sé que hay un montón de dudas sobre el New Game Plus. Este. Es, bien, les puedo decir por un lado que este juego de persona es bastante fácil. Persona 5 Strikers sí es mucho más difícil. O sea, por ejemplo, las personas que construimos. Prácticamente si no las construimos en la máxima dificultad de Strikers, simplemente no se puede continuar. Persona 5 Strikers, si les puedo decir algo, es que es más canon de la versión vainilla que de este, porque se estuvo desarrollando al mismo tiempo que se desarrollaba la Royal. Entonces personajes como Yoshizawa o como Haruki no son parte de ese canon. Y vimos como que una combinación de ambos finales, del final eh, del vainilla con el final de, de Maruki. O sea, es como un final extendido. Entonces yo sé que luego van a decir, oye, ¿por qué le está vigilando la policía y demás? Y es porque ya más o menos había ideas de lo que pasaría en Strikers. Eh, que es una continuación directa. Es como imagínense que este fuera el primer persona que existiera y Strikers fuera Persona 2. O de Ghost of War 4 que salió en el 2018 y luego está Ghost of War Ragnarok. Entonces esta es Persona 5 y Persona 5 Strikers es la continuación. Este, la verdad es que en Strikers si desbloquea el New Game Plus es pedísimo. Porque no solamente es acabar el juego y ya está. Si así tienes que hacer cumplir con muchas cosas en ese juego para desbloquearlo. Eh, pero sí siento que está mejor el New Game Plus de, de Persona 5 Strikers. Aunque es... Más complicado sacar lo que esto ya. Eh, insisto, yo espero estar trabajando ya en el video del New Game Plus. Eh, no sé qué día voy a publicar esto, la verdad. Y no sé si lo voy a dejar así tal cual está o si lo voy a partir. Eh, no sé si dejar esto o mejor ya saltarme a la escena final. Si sí, sí, pues bueno... Sí, yo creo que mejor nos saltamos a... Porque hay una escena final, final, final. Entonces déjenme, se las pongo de una vez. Ok. Oh. Aquí está el final. El último de todos. Ahí está Kechi. O parecía. Se sienta a su lado y se dan sus besotes. Y ahora sí, se acabó. Eh, voy a tratar de realizarlo una vez con esto tal cual como dura. Si sí, sí lo aguanto mi computadora viejita. Con la nueva no debía de tener este problema, pero con la viejita no lo sé. Voy a ver si se puede y si sí, pues bueno, ya lo voy a subir y quien lo quiera ver completo ahí está. Aquí está el último logro que me hacía falta. Entonces sí, le saqué los mil puntos en una sola partida. Pero esto esta era mi séptima vez que estaba acabando el juego. Entonces... Por eso yo ya sabía cómo estaba lo demás eh, en este estilo de cosas y pude hacerlo así de una sola sentada. Pero no se obsesionen con hacerlo un, en, a la primera así. Eh. O sea, ustedes disfruten del juego. Pásensela bien. Aquí está. Que pues lo saqué todo de un, de un jalón. Sí tenía miedo que el de los peces no lo sacara. Pero incluso nunca repetí ningún día ni... Y se de, ah, voy a hacer esto y después voy a cortar y voy a regresar al pasado eh, ya que me dio el logro. Sino que todo lo hice de un tirón y subiendo a los confidentes al tope y demás. Entonces pues ahí está. Este, gracias por acompañarme en esta guía. Te recuerdo que en la descripción de este video está la lista de reproducción donde está tanto la World Truck de todo a, a lo que subí de esto. Como la otra lista de reproducción de esta, tips y trucos que son más de 60 videos. Yo creo que van a terminar siendo 64, 66 donde están pues todos los videos donde te doy explicaciones de las mejores personas, cómo armarlas, este, ubicación de coleccionables de todos los palacios, guías de logros y trofeos por si hay, algunos tienes dudas, eh, resuelvo dudas de New Game Plus, waifus, eh, muchas mecánicas del juego donde puede estar atorado, cómo farmear dinero, en fin, todo eso te lo dejo ahí. Este, 155 horas, creo que la primera vez me tomó 240, pero también estaba, grabé varias cosas en esa ocasión, entonces creo que 155 estuvo mejor, y pues listo, 
Nuevamente gracias y yo soy tu amigo Peter, te estaré viendo en mi siguiente video de mi siguiente guía y espero que me acompañes en ese viaje. Bye.